She's here, guys. Two months. Been waiting. There she is, boys. Finally. Holy shit, two months later. Doesn't even have 300 miles on it yet. Been separated for two months. So I got her stripped down. I hadn't even got it off the platform yet. Pull the seat. Put on my uh, docking hardware. And I've got new seats and handlebars. They're right over here. There's my seat, my backrest, my handlebars, and they're just 13s. We'll get those on eventually, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the seat and uh, charge up the battery. They, they must have took it out of transport mode when they were loading this thing, so the battery's dead. Up. Hopefully, it'll take a charge and it's not completely shot. She's here, guys. Love it. All right, got the seat on. This is one of the CC Rider seats. You just go on their website, CC Rider. And it's in pretty good quality. The stitching is real nice. So that's actual stitching. It's hard to tell on their website whether that's just pressed in and made to look like stitching. But once I got it, yeah, it's stitching. And backrest is on. It's adjustable. So I can raise it up and down, it folds forward. So, a little dusty now, my hand prints. I'll get it all wiped down, yeah, cause she's dirty from when they had it in the uh, warehouse shop where they cut uh, rock and marble. So she got marble dust all over. Good thing I ceramic coated it about two weeks after I got it. All right. Got her all cleaned up. She's looking good. I really like the seats. These are CC Rider. You can go online, look up CC Rider. They've got a ton of options and the prices are real reasonable. And it's a, uh, it feels like a good quality seat. Still got a little bit of dust falling. I am in a, a warehouse building here in Miami doing some construction work and but she's all cleaned up other than a little bit of dust that's still falling out of the air so yep got the seats on got the docking hardware on that I ordered I ordered all this stuff while I was waiting for her to get here she's looking good I really like the the white stitching it really makes this black and chrome pop I love it handlebars I ordered while I was waiting. Got them in black. I'm wondering if I should have went ahead and got them in chrome, but I wanted to tone down the chrome just a little bit. So the only thing left to do that I'd like to get done. I've watched tons of videos. That air cleaner, getting it rid of that stock air cleaner and the stock pipes. Uh, that would be awesome. I'm gonna have to get hand grips when I change the bars. Turn signals and you get rid of those incandescent bulbs, get some LED on it. Been seeing some real good reviews on custom dynamics. Kind of like the halo effect, sort of, with the white light. And they'll give me what looks like another headlight. And then when you go to turn your turn signals on, then it changes to the amber. There's a a uh, one called a plasma rod that fits in between the uh, saddlebag and your fender. It's just a small strip of LED and it works as a turn signal also in a brake light. That would be real cool to get. Everything's just real expensive when it comes to lighting. We're talking like 250 for this 300 for that and it's just an led light and i deal with led lights all the time with what we do this whole building's going to be filled with led our leds aren't cheap that we use on this thing but we can get 
you know, a 15 meter roll for a hundred buck and accent light the shit out of this place. Harleys, and try to get LED lights for them at 250 for, you know, a little bitty string of lights inside there on each side. That's a little crazy. And we don't have that much in the lights and the labor when we put stuff up. And pricing on a lot of things for Harley's just a little, it's almost like price gouging or something. I don't know. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, I got this whole thing right here for, I think it was less than 200. And then I've got the uh, King Pack uh, backrest that matches this that goes on it so with all of this the king turpack backrest the rider seat and the this rider back backrest is i'm under 320 something like that that was a hell of a deal you can go on their site you'll see they got some really good pricing but she is looking good now guys i think i might take her out tonight i believe uh professional monkey's got something going on at the uh what is that harley dealership alligator alley or something harley and outside of uh fort lauderdale i might swing up there tomorrow so they're going to be putting a 131 crate motor screaming eagle crate motor in his bike and he's going to be doing that live on youtube and that'll be cool to see, uh, especially in person. So I might go by there. Um, I got a, a nail that turned up in my back tire, uh, but I checked it out, pulled it and everything, and it didn't go deep enough. It looked like a, a furniture tack nail. So, I mean, my tread my tread cuts deeper than that nail went so i think i'm safe there but i'm going to have harley go ahead and check out the tire i've got the the warranty that gets me free tires if i get nails and stuff so all right i guess that's it for now guys we'll uh catch you on the next one take it easy